Welcome to our second edition of Table Time. This recipe comes from a good friend and fellow foodie, uh, Mr. Vern. He sent me this uh, a little while back, and I finally got around to making it. Uh, it is going to be buffalo chicken lasagna. It's going to be good. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just cooking this chicken off. I've already flipped it. All it's got on it is salt and pepper. This is the same thing we did, guys, for the um, salad that we made last month. I'm just letting this cook until it's done. I mean, literally, we're going to shred it up and mix it into the uh, lasagna. What else I'm doing? I'm chopping an onion. So, I only need a quarter cup of onion for this. This is obviously way more than a quarter of a cup of onion. So, I'm also going to be making up something for a lunchbox cooker meal. We're going to freeze it. And then when we leave, we're going to grab it out of the freezer. And uh, when it thaws out in the cooler, then we can put it in the lunchbox cooker. It's going to be meatloaf. We're going to make meatloaf in the lunchbox cooker. This is a no-brainer for the lunchbox, guys. It's an oven. It's a meatloaf pan. No-brainer. So, this... right here is way more than enough onion. I think I'm going to cut just a little bit more. I, uh, I have to um, cook off the onion for this recipe that I'm making, the buffalo chicken lasagna. So I think I'm going to cook all of it off at once and retain the extra for the meatloaf. And we'll just set it aside. I'm going to cut just a little bit more off of this. I think that looks like plenty. That should be just about done. That. <laughs> well, I don't need the rest of this onion. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the rest of this onion. Oh, I'm just going to chuck it. So. Let's get this out. We'll get this out and then we'll get this ready to go and we'll catch up with you guys in a second. All right, so we've got two tablespoons of butter melted in this pan. We're gonna put all of our onions in here. Um, the recipe called for a mix of olive oil and butter. I don't have any olive oil at home, so I'm just using straight butter. Um, you would do that because olive oil and a butter combination, olive oil is going to reduce the burning temperature of your butter so you can heat higher. But as long as you pay attention, you can use straight butter. So I'm going to let these cook down for a little bit. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Like I said, uh, I'm not going to use all of this in the lasagna. I'm going to reserve some of this for our meatloaf. We shredded our chicken here. When we make our sauce, that's going to be the last thing that goes in. I bought this at Walmart. I'm not home enough to make buying fresh garlic worth it. But this, I can store in the fridge and it stores pretty much indefinitely. So it's a half a teaspoon of minced garlic equals one clove. So when this cooks down some, we're going to add the garlic to it. Making a mess with the onions. So I'm going to let that go for a minute. Flip my cutting board. If you don't quit, there's not going to be any chicken in the lasagna. This is... <laughs> This is eight ounces of cream cheese, not low fat cream cheese, just regular old cream cheese. We're going to chop this up into cubes and it's going to be the start of our sauce. So I'm going to get this chopped up, I'm going to let those cook down, and then when those cook down some, we're going to add our garlic and we'll be right back. So while our onions are cooking, we're going to cook these down until they're translucent. 
but they're getting pretty close. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the rest of the ingredients. Once these get cooked down to translucent, we're gonna add our garlic. So the rest of the ingredients for this, we got cream cheese. Um, we have, we're gonna have to have a cup of wing sauce. Uh, this is just Walmart brand, wing sauce. I bought the medium, I'm not sure how hot it is. We'll work with it. This is just lasagna noodles. You can boil your own, but I always buy oven ready. This is the kind that doesn't have the little ruffles on it. We also have pepper jack cheese. That's also going in it as well. So it's a pretty simple recipe. It's in the fridge. I haven't gotten it out yet. Uh, yes, you are not eating the pepper jack cheese. Oh, hell no. So we're getting real close on these. You don't want to add your garlic too soon because you see how big my chunks are on the onion? And you see how big the chunks are on the garlic? Garlic burns easily, so you want to add it in at the last minute. So we're going to let these finish. We're going to add our garlic, and we'll catch back up with you. Alright, so our onions are looking pretty translucent here. See how they're getting almost, not quite see-through, but they're getting there. And they're starting to just a little bit brown on the edges. That means it's time to add our garlic. So this recipe calls for a clove of garlic, which is a half a teaspoon, according to this. And I'm also putting it in the meatloaf. So we're gonna add, I love garlic, Hubs loves garlic. So I'm gonna add a pretty good amount of garlic. This jar of garlic will last us a long time. Oh. oh, yeah, there's nothing better than the smell of cooking onions and garlic. There's really, really not. Okay, behind you, there's a bowl on the counter. Can you reach that? I'll take this. Grab that bowl on the counter. Thank you. So all we're doing is just letting that garlic cook off a little bit. Let it cook for a couple of minutes. Put it down. Thank you. Oh, can you smell it? Oh, I love the smell of garlic. It smells so good. Nah, it's hot, thing. It's hot. So uh, this is literally all we're doing. Is just letting that garlic cook off a little bit. So I'm going to take about half of this. And I'm going to put it in that bowl. That's going to be for our meatloaf. So we're going to set this to the side. We're going to set this to the side. Take this. Put it behind you. On the counter. I got it. There you go. Alright, so our next step is I cut our cream cheese up into cubes. Dang, you already had yours. So we're going to add carefully we're going to add our cream cheese. And I've got the heat down. I need to turn it down a little bit cuz this is I don't want I don't want to burn the cheese here. Let me check this real quick. Yeah. So we're just going to let this melt. When this melts, when the cream cheese melts here, we're going to add this is a little over a cup of that sauce. I'm glad I didn't buy the hot, guys, because that's pretty spicy. So once this melts, we're going to add this, and then we'll start building our lasagna. So our cream cheese has melted, but I think thing, I told him to throw away the wrapper, and I don't think he did. How goodness. Are you serious? Go clean yourself up, man. All right. So we're gonna add in our buffalo sauce here, and you can, you guys, use whatever type of buffalo wing sauce that you like. It's totally. This is your deal. Yeah, move that out of the way for me, please. So we're just gonna mix this all together. And then the next thing we do, I have my oven heating to 350 degrees. 
Guys, this can be made in the lunchbox cooker. So long as you have a burner of some kind to cook this mixture, to cook your chicken and cook this mixture in, you can layer this. It'll probably give you at least two uh, and put it in the lunchbox cooker. Oh man, Woo! I can smell the heat. So this is our onion, garlic, cream cheese, and um, buffalo sauce mix. So this is done. We're just gonna keep stirring it so we're sure that there's no cream cheese lumpies in here. Yes, it's lumpy. That's from the onions, guys. So. All right. So this is all combined. And guys, this is awesome. So I just put a little bit of it um, in the bottom of our casserole pan because we're going to start layering from here. This is just to coat the bottom. Let me get a little bit more down here. This is just to coat the bottom to keep the noodles from burning. It didn't make quite as much sauce as I anticipated it. I think I'm going to add the lid. Apparently I'm going to add the lid. I only had a little bit of sauce left. Maybe a couple of tablespoons. So I think I'm going to add the remainder of the sauce. Yes, I made a mess. Thank you, babe. So, let me stir this in. Dang, would you stop eating? You're not going to win dinner. Alright, that's a little bit better. So now what we're going to do... Oh my goodness. You act like I don't see you. <laughs> so we're going to add in our chicken here. And we're going to mix this all up. We just shredded it, guys. We didn't really do anything fancy with it. It's just big chunk shredder. We're gonna mix it all up in here and make this amazing mixture. And I have to say right now, Vern, I'm glad I did this instead of the other one. Cause this is like, yeah, <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah, Thing's pretty happy with it too. Well, Thing loves hot wings. So that's kind of why I did it. Now, we're gonna layer this. Same thing as the last time. We're just making it, it doesn't have to be pretty. It's not supposed to be pretty because it's all going to cook down together. I kind of like these noodles without the ruffles. This is a higher quality pasta, guys. I bought a better quality pasta this time. What's the next layer? I didn't read part of the head. Okay. We're going to put half of this in here. And we're going to spread that out over this layer. You make this in a 9 by 13 burn? Hmm. Either this is bigger than 9 by 13 or it's kind of a slim layers. I don't know. I didn't come up with this recipe. This is not my recipe. This is this is Master Burns. So I'm doing it how he told me to. Now I told you we got pepper jack cheese. You can at this point, uh my oven's ready. Pour some ranch dressing on here if you like that. I didn't do it. I love I like ranch dressing with hot wings, but I didn't do it. Make sure we got plenty of cheese because we like cheese. And now the next layer is lasagna noodles. Yes. I need the 
Jules, come back. Oh my goodness, you better have clean fingers. And we'll put the rest of our chicken mixture in here. Somebody, somebody behind the camera is like really excited for this dinner. probably make this in a 9 by, or not a 9 by 13, an 8 by 8 or 9 by 9 casserole dish. Just make it an extra layer. This is a little slim on the layers. That's okay. It's alright. Like I said, not my recipe. I'm just following the directions I was given here. And then we're going to put another layer of lasagna noodles on top of this. I can't train him. And then we're gonna put the rest of the cheese on top. This is gonna bake in the oven for 25 minutes, approximately at 350 degrees. My oven's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in. And we'll let you guys know how it turns out. All right, guys. Well, Lavani is done. Check that out. Look at that. I look good. Um, I don't think the top layer got cooked. It's still a little crunchy. Um, next time I'm going to make this in an 8x8 or 9x9 pan uh, because it's pretty thin. You can see how thin it is in a 9x13. Here, I can get a good idea. How thin that is. So I think next time I'm going to make it in an 8x8 or 9x9. Um, I think that's going to turn out a little better. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you're subscribing down below, uh, sharing with your friends and family. Uh, you guys, please leave me your ideas for table time. I love to try and cook new stuff. So any ideas, send them my way uh, and we'll uh, look and see what we can do. Um, thank you very, very much for this recipe. I very much, it, it smells amazing. From what I've tasted of it, it tastes awesome. Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter at AshleyLocks1. Come hang out with us. All kinds of fun, goofy stuff on Twitter. Um, other than that, you guys have a good night.